so what happened is that you had the power supply, you had the meter, you connected it to your uh, magnav unit, you connected it to the power supply to whatever uh, load you wanted, you got one third off on this side. Now, if you put a small load here, another load here, and you create enough in time, what you call the plasma condition, and take one of the appliances which you have here, or single appliance you especially put in that point, and connect it to a battery or to AC inverter, now you can supply the whole house directly from this unit. And because it doesn't go on the main line, your total power supply consumption is zero on your meter. So the system becomes self-sufficient. I repeat that you understand what you got to do to achieve zero power. This is your meter from the house. You have a point to your magnav unit. You connected your magnav units to some sort of appliances. This appliance here, you can feed from it, not go through it, but connect to it, to a battery, or you can go to an AC inverter. We show you how to do the AC inverter. Alex can tell you all you need to do is to connect one line to the earth side of the wire. We show you how to do this later on. And then anything you take from here, which can be literally connected in the back of here, is totally free in the house. So you bring your magnav unit immediately before to encourage the plasma flow. You put your load on this end and you connect all the attachments to it. But this needs time. This needs another few weeks that you can nanocoat the whole structure. Don't forget, Alex is in this position because he's now already nearly six months, eight months using the system. So in the coming time, we'll give you a unit, we advise you, or you can build it as you do everything yourselves, that you create a new power generator from a system on the back of the unit, which gives you the free energy, and it's more or less wireless. So, <clears throat> uh, so the system ill and will become 100% powerful, uh, power free. Because here you convert immediately back into a system of a plasma. If you remember when we showed in ambassador meeting and in the teachings in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, a couple of weeks ago in the center, we put 110 and 220, the drill and the heater next to each other from the same source. You just need to be patient. The system is absolutely, and it become more or less free power magnet system. But you have to allow the environment to build up. And with a simple, single system, it takes time. We saw the lady who we showed first, she says she's running her uh, studio free from any power to be taken from outside. In time, the environment changes to appliances and the system will go. You can in time deplug or literally disconnect from the main and use the same plugs as you have in the house, but they all be free energy with a way which the plasma once it's set off and it created, you can disconnect from this in time. Because the system will start feeding itself, absorbing energy from its environment. Uh, this, this is just needs time for the system to set in. So, the next step, once you got your systems in time, is to keep on checking if, for example, your washing machine or one of the appliances near to the system is become plasmatic, and then use it to drain energy into a power supply or inverter of what we show you. And then if you create a plasma batteries, you don't even need that, then the supply becomes self-consumption. You disconnect from the main in time to come.